Sponsor, uh, sponsor, sponsor. Sponsor? Sponsor bailed. Our sponsor bailed? Yeah, isn't that the headline? Our sponsor bailed? Oh, that's right. Uh, one of our one of our <laughs> biggest sponsors for the last two years bailed on their biggest project. <laughs> It was you his heard, idea for the title. No, I forgot. I forgot. Between telling you that and us talking now, <laughs> you did I'd film like two videos. Com- <laughs> other videos. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Right, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair okay. Enough. Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade is over. It's done. Finito. Yeah. Kaput. Yeah. Dunzo. Yep. You're never getting one. Never. I mean, I don't think you were eligible anyway as like top management, but like. Well, Ed got one. Ed got. Yeah. How the how the hell did Ed get one? Yeah. So I think I think I technically Well that's not was. fair then. Yeah. So maybe you're ineligible because you work for a different company. I don't know. I'll find some way oh, to make man, it. Man, you man. get computers anyway. You don't yeah, need I, one. I actually don't yeah, care. Yeah, forget fine. it. Forget yeah. it. The point is Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade is over. We did 24 episodes which hilariously at the time that we booked Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade 2 years ago, I was like, yeah, we're totally going to make our way through like everyone in the company. But the rate at which our employee count has grown been hiring more people than you've been outpaced spitting out. how yeah. fast we can make these videos they're a ton of work right because you got to do yeah. all the procurement everyone's kind of this is their chance to like talk to you guys right so everyone's looking for not a gimmick something that expresses who they are but a unique element right yeah yeah and so in the early ones it was pretty simple i'm gonna be a game streamer gaming Right and now it's gotten a little bit more complicated. It's like you gotta oh, mix it up. you got to make it a little bit more interesting. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Um, but now it's it's done. It's done. Uh, what is this? Guess how many views? Oh, we did twenty four episodes of them. Guess how many views across all episodes? You can't look before reading this. Guess then scroll to the readout super chats end of show section. Colton. Now I know Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade was a massive performer for oh, us. Yeah. It was honestly probably the best idea that I have ever had in the entire history of this company. I think outside of potentially Scrapyard Wars, I think I've seen people call it out as an individual piece of content that we do more than anything. It's what I call a win, 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 win. Yeah. A- absolutely everybody wins. Yeah. The sponsor wins because particularly at the time they booked it, Intel didn't have a lot good to talk about. There yeah. wasn't a lot of and, positive sentiment. And with my like calling out the name of the the reason why I brought that up is actually because they would always say Intel Extreme Rig Update. They wouldn't just say like Rig Update or Extreme Rig Update. Intel was at the beginning of the call out every single time. Do you know when I named the series? When I was standing on the stairs to Anthony's place for the first episode. It had a completely different name. Oh, and I was wow. like, no, nah, it's stupid. Um, just brand it. We're going to call it Extreme Tech Upgrade because it's like XTU, uh, which is their yeah, overclocking yeah, software. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, hee, 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 that'll be funny. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, and if they don't like it, know, then there's always gotta be, we'll dub something Linus over. is always, with his little acronyms, they always mean something. <laughs> there's always something and The there. fastest possible doesn't mean anything. No, right. Oh, yeah, over yeah. on TechWiki. Forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. No. Anywho, uh, so we came up with Extreme Tech Upgrade, and it's a win, 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 win. Okay, so the uh, who who was it first? So the the sponsor wins because it's just all good vibes. There's nothing but good vibes. It's it's your tech in good vibes. How can you go wrong? Yeah. Okay, we win because we get sponsored. It's sponsored content, which you guys probably understand pays way better than oh, normal yeah. content. Oh yeah. Right, but then here's the thing. If you can find sponsored content that the audience loves, the audience wins because they get a chance in content that otherwise wouldn't exist, right? To get to know all the different members of the team and see all these different approaches. I mean, it has been just wild. How many messages I get with people talking about how like inspiring Extreme Tech Upgrade was for people's setups, right? It's so sense. cool. That makes sense. And I, I learned this kind of by accident, but... The, w- the amount you learn about someone from how oh, they yeah. would spend $5,000 yeah. is b- unbelievable. Yeah. Like, okay, seriously, I would strongly recommend this. If you happen to just be like a casual, high net worth individual, okay, first date, just give them $5,000 <laughs> to spend and watch them, okay? I bet you'll know if you want to spend the rest of your life with them. 
<laughs> there you go. No there you go. comment Dating on tips. that. No comment on that at all. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be weird, right? Wow. Uh, and then the fourth win. <laughs> You're really setting yourself up for some really interesting expectations. First of all, if you can afford that at all, but you're also communicating that you can easily afford this. So I hope you're like... <laughs> and the fourth win is the staff. Oh. It's like it's like sponsored content that also turns into people having sick setups at home. Yeah, Lin Linus found a way to flex some flex some Mr. Beastie stuff, but he doesn't even have to pay for it. It's it's the best <laughs> it's the best deal I have ever negotiated. It's pretty sick. Ever. I, they're also genuinely really fun to watch. Yeah, well that's what I said. That's the win for the okay, audience. I they're watched great. Jake's entire video. I've watched Dennis's twice. Yeah. It's just hilarious. Like, I, I think I've seen most of them at this point and a l pretty much every single one that I have clicked on, I've watched the whole way through. Because it's actually like consistently pretty interesting, because you'll find whatever, you'll roast them for taking whatever from the office, which is, that's another thing, what they steal from the office is almost like... That tells like, you a lot about people too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole thing is just like, I don't know. Do they go for stuff they think I won't notice? Do they just go for the obvious stuff? Do they just go straight for the high value? I don't know. How long has it been there? How long have they had it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. But guess what? Linus Media Group Incorporated happens to be a production juggernaut. And as such, we were not going to simply allow a great thing like Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade to die simply yeah. because Intel... I mean, you know what? The reality of it is we love working with Intel. We've been working with them as long as we've existed almost. Do you remember the first time we worked with Intel? It was like three months in. Yeah. Was it one of those like commercial things that we did? Yep. It was yeah. like promoting like a snowboard promo that they were doing with like 4770K or something yeah. like that or yeah. 6700K or must have been 47. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Definitely not 67. Yeah, it must have been 4770K. You got like a free snowboard or something. It might have even been Ivy Bridge. Holy crap. Might have been 3,000. So anyway, the point is that we did like these little in video like pre roll things. Um, massive shout out to to Mike, you know who you are, who got that whole thing kickstarted on Intel's side because they had zero awareness at that time. Like influencer, YouTube, what? Like, yeah. like nothing. They would go and they would blow six, seven figures on all kinds of wild stuff that, as far as I could tell, had essentially zero impact. And then, you know, when I wanted like 500 bucks, they'd be like, sorry, who are you? I'm like, I don't know, only like one of the biggest tech YouTubers, which I guess doesn't matter right now, but could someday, someday, I believed Luke. Actually, I didn't really believe much at that point. I was just trying. We believed a little bit. We, there, we was, wanted, there was a little bit of we, belief. We wanted to believe it. There was hope. Um, <laughs> we, that was pretty much all we had to go on. Yeah. Um, anyway, we, so we've been working with Intel almost as long as we've existed. And, you know, like any relationship that lasts for 10 years, things ebb and they flow. <laughs> you know, you know how things go. And we're still going to be working with them but you know whether it was changing priorities over there whether they dropped the ball whether well no we didn't drop the ball we followed up we gave them time but whatever happened over there they couldn't make it happen and if you had to guess if you had to guess what company would find it pretty hilarious to kick intel while they're down and scoop extreme tech upgrade out from under them who would it be uh, arm kidding other, other, okay, other three you've letter. You've got one letter right. <laughs> other, other three Actually, you've got two letters right. <laughs> yeah. AMD. Let's go. I think, yeah, the whole chat already guessed. Yeah. AMD is coming. It's not going to be called the same thing because that wouldn't be as as funny. Um, also, but, extremes like part of their branding and like. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be called AMD Ultimate Tech Upgrade Auto. I had nothing to do with the naming this time. I take no responsibility for that. The first episode will be with Adam? Oh, really? Okay. The first episode is going to be with Adam from the writing team. And then my understanding is that there's going to be a very special second episode that is going to have none other than Yvonne as the subject. Now, because oh. she is my wife... Um, how, are I'm gonna, not, how are you going to tell me I can't get one? I'm not privy. And Yvonne gets one. So it, I, can, I, I can explain this. I can explain this. Uh, this was a business yeah, decision. This was a strategic decision made not by me. 
Okay. This was actually made by the business team because they really want to put a strong foot forward with these first couple and then lock down a, a longer term deal here. Because full disclosure, guys, when you when you renegotiate um, a, a content deal, you never do it at the old price. <laughs> Yeah. So it's not cheaper. I can tell you guys that much. <laughs> Look, okay, I got a lab to build. <laughs> I got a lab to build, okay? And I think that... Oh, I, people, people are asking, is it the same budget? I actually don't know the Someone details. Someone suggested a budget of $6,900. It's pretty good. Okay, done. $6,900 <laughs> Canadian. Brilliant. $6,900 Canadian. Done. Yeah. I think I'm actually getting a discount. Was it USD before? Yeah. Oh, wow. 5,000 US. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. No. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I have no idea what's coming, which is half the fun for me. In the early ones, I was actually quite involved. I mean, not people like Anthony. Like, I, I he didn't need me to help him, right? But a lot of the early ones, I was quite involved ahead of time in sort of part selection and stuff like that. And then over time, uh, procurement started to help. The rest of the writing team started to do a lot more of it. I think I was only really involved in the first like, couple. Um, and, and now I kind of just walk in. I'm like, What's going on here? Yeah, what's uh, what's Shake a Lake and let's zap strap some speakers to yeah, this random stand I video. found for you. Okay, that worked. That worked. Uh, no, I, I I wasn't actually flaming it. You need to be there, by the way, when we finally do the episode reacting to Linus's old setups. Oh yeah. Have I shown you any of them? Like, have you well, I've ever seen a bunch of them? But... Have you? Like, yeah. well, no, I mean, from I've before you, you knew like me. like 12 years. Yeah, but I did most of my janky stuff before you met me. Okay, but I've seen the, the I'm trying to go from memory, the green water cooling one that had the, the purple coil around it. Okay, yeah. I've seen that one. I've seen the chiller. Okay. I definitely haven't seen all of them, but I've seen some of them is what I'm trying to say. You show me some pictures. I've done some weird stuff. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find something now, but. Did you know that at one point in time, um. I had transferred my components over to a new case and the power button on the case didn't work. So uh, my motherboard at the time had a power button on the motherboard. So I rigged up an elastic band and pencil setup so that the, the, si the side panel of the case, I got a hole in it and I had the pencil mounted in the hole and the elastic bands would hold it in place and you would just press the eraser on the pencil and the pencil would go through and press the power button on the motherboard and that would be how you turn the computer on. It was sick. <laughs> Okay, I will see your eraser rubber band and raise you one surround speaker stand. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes, that is a wheel. Is that a brush wheel? That is a wheel at the oh, bottom. Oh, that's just a wheel wheel. It's a wheel. Beautiful. Yeah, the base is a wheel. <laughs> that was the inspiration for Jake's surround speaker mount. Was my setup from when I was about 15. That's amazing. So we're going to, I'm going to dig through all my old pictures. I'm going to like pull out all the weird <laughs> janky stuff that I've done over the years. And we're going to do like a, like a, I mean, obviously I can't react to it. This all seems perfectly reasonable to me, but I feel like you guys are probably going to have some we'll, we'll stuff see. to say about I it. I do feel like I should be involved with that, but I feel like I'm going to agree with your decisions more. Because you remember, like, I mounted a, a a water pump on a cutoff piece of the old mud flap of my old car. Like, do you remember that? Hmm. Like, I've uh, the, right now, there's a graphics card laying on on flat on top of my computer with a PCI riser cable coming out of the main component uh, or main area of my computer going out all the way up connecting into the graphics card with a second power supply not in the computer on the outside of the computer running power cables up the back of the computer into the graphics card so that everything works because otherwise it wouldn't have fit I enjoy the jank okay that's fine. I did not adopt the jank I was born in the jank <laughs> That's another really funny one to me. The amount of flack that I take, people accusing me of being a fan of this or a fan of that, particularly accusing me of being extremely anti-AMD, like I, like I hate AMD we for some reason. We both started with AMD systems. This was my desktop wallpaper for, I kid you not, years. I literally... Yeah. Repped AMD on my desktop wallpaper. This is super sick wallpaper. I forget where I got it, but apparently I, I still have it somewhere. Um, 
for, for actual years. So when I say AMD's product is bad, it's just because it's bad. It's not... It's not it's, fortunately, they're not bad these days. So yeah. AMD Ultimate Tech Upgrade is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, we're going to build some, some sick gaming rigs. And, uh, I mean, maybe maybe some other things. So there it is, guys. Oh, right! My computer's all red right now. It's all AMD. Yeah, mine too. Yep. Actually, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been Threadripper for a while, but you were Intel before. I was. Yep, but not, then, so, not now. I mean, for what I'm assuming is like a year and a half now? Yeah. I've been and AMD processor. It's fine. It's been great. It's been great. Yep. Um, I mean, I do have some problems with, like, sleep states, but, like realistically that can happen on team blue as well yeah so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make too yeah. much fuss about that uh but because i had to uh because i had to clear my cmos for just like as a troubleshooting step for the amd um 30 day challenge i a bunged up my my nvme raid settings so that was really scary mm. and b i i ended up um uh, losing that setting that I had had to change to make it so that my system doesn't just randomly crash all the time. So there's like a, there's an S3 sleep bug or something like that. I have to disable all power saving states. Otherwise, my computer, not when it's working, when it's idle, will just crash. Just like randomly crash, hard lock, full lock. It's very annoying. It's a Threadripper bug. And AMD has completely abandoned Enthusiast Threadripper, even though they said they definitely, definitely wouldn't. Goes to show, goes to show you. I um, I have no problem calling out sponsors, even new ones who just signed a big deal with us. Uh, okay, so Thanks, try to guess. Guys. Intel Extreme Tech Upgrade is over twenty four episodes total views. Yeah. So, man, I have not paid attention to views on these, so I'm coming in extremely uneducated. But I'm going to throw my guess. This, I feel like this might be high. I'm going to throw my guess at fifty though. Because I feel like some performed like really, really yeah, well. Yeah, Dennis's has like six million or something. Yeah, like that. some of them just like smashed it out of the park. But I have to assume some of the other ones didn't do as well. I'm gonna say seventy. Damn. Because almost across the board, they have at least two million views. Oh, they're just killing. So that's okay. forty-eight. Yeah, I haven't even looked. And so. then there's a handful. Like I think Riley's has four or five million. <laughs> Anthony's has at least three. Riley's was good. Riley's was great. Anthony's was good. They're so all many great. of these were so good. Yeah, I I'm just remembering them because it's been a long time. It's right? been two years. Yeah. So, like, I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but... Literally, I think the biggest W that I have ever W'd. Yeah. Um, and this is one that I know for sure was actually my idea. I was genuinely stunned to the point where I thought I was being trolled when I was first informed that they were, that we were, like, they were not renewing. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. Uh, I haven't looked at views for these in a while. I think we're both going to be way short. <laughs> Sarah's is 4.7 million. <laughs> Dennis's is, is at 9. 9 million. David's is at 6. Eyes was great. Um, I actually don't think I've watched one that I didn't think was just fantastic. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, Ploof's is 2.4. Alex's is 5.7. Brandon's at 3. Chase's did 4.2. It's a great thumbnail, though. This is a This is a fantastic thumbnail look at his computer freaking guy <laughs> love it andy i broke his bed i mean that's the thing is like that's why reality tv works right like you this can't stuff happens you can't write life happens man. yeah you can't write wilder stuff than just what happens when you yeah. try and complete a project together and especially when people have me do really weird stuff like paint their basement <laughs> right like, but that happened in andy's yeah, yeah. Um, all How right. far are we off by like I'm gonna we're check. off by a lot I think we're off by is a lot is it like 88 million so I was off by like 20% yeah yeah I mean you were off by more so yeah. I guess I can give myself a little pat on the back for that but there like you go. realistically I look at analytics infinity percent more than you do these days <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> the fact that I wasn't closer than you were yeah. means I, I might not be doing the greatest job at that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they've they've clearly been killing it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to do more. The good news is that if the first couple perform well, and uh, hopefully AMD's not watching this to know that we kind of stack the deck a little bit, because they will, then uh, we should be signing a long-term deal, and we should be able to keep these things rolling, because there's so many people that you guys, A, haven't gotten to know very well, or B, haven't even met yet. There's people who work here that I haven't met yet. <laughs> That's a weird feeling, eh? It's super weird. 
I have no idea how to deal with it. Like there, there's, there's people who work here whose only interaction with me on a weekly basis is to watch the WAN show. So I was actually just going to bring this up. I've been work from home for a long time. So this has been happening to me for a while. <laughs> right. And I'll walk into the office and walk past groups of people <laughs> that I've just like never seen before. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> there was a All stretch right. there after the summer where I think every Monday morning meeting we were announcing a new hire. New person. 